Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we're taking a look at a little bit of a blast from the past. So, and also too, we always knew it was, we were eventually going to have them on the show. We're taking a look at something from Fourth War here in Atlanta. Oh. Or, yeah. Um. So, back in 2017, Old Fourth Ward, Old Fourth Distillery, produced this Lawn Dart, a ginger lemon liqueur. Now, according to the back here, um, it's limited edition. I've never seen this in the in. I, we we've never seen this in a liquor store until today. We were um we were walking around in a random liquor store in McDonough and ran up on this. This is the first time we ever saw this, so we thought they just put it out like this year. We thought it was brand new. Looked it up online, come to find out they put it out in 2017. The bottle says limited edition. I don't know if they make this anymore. Which is weird to me because you would think for them to herald it as they wanted it to match up with local with the local brew. Yeah, they we pair. We looked them. up an article about it, and apparently, uh, when they when they first created it and they tasted it, it got rave reviews. Everybody loved it, and you know what? It's probably. It was probably limited edition. I mean, I this is the first time I've seen it, but I'm thinking maybe it's like the McRib. You just bring it back like every season or whatever. I don't know, but I want to taste it. <laughs> I want to see what everybody liked about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to put it like this. Mm -hmm. Lemon and ginger. Mm -hmm. I don't see how you mess that up. Mm -hmm. So at best, I'm gonna already say that this is gonna get, and this is before I taste it, mm -hmm. is this has to at least score at the very least a 6.5. Mm -hmm. I mean, so we're gonna start with that. It, it, it comes with high praise. So it, automatically we're going into this with something with high price. And I'm wondering their talks about about it pairing well with, with the local beer. Mm -hmm. Were they trying to go for like a shandy type situation? Or, I think so. Or a boiler room type situation? I think or, so. Or what? Um, That would be interesting to test and see. Let's 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 test this first, and then I'll see what what, what we can do with it. <laughs> uh, Edison, because you no, know, now I'm intrigued. I'm wondering like why is it limited? Was edition? this the only bottle? I think there were like two more bottles. Because if it is limited, this limited edition, edition go, back good, and yeah, we go back and get one. Yeah, we go back. Yeah. I smell lemon and ginger, so oh, it already pretty good. You know. And I think they were in the article. They were also touting this up as like the anti limoncello or whatever. Interesting. Or not anti limoncello, but like you know, I guess if women drink limoncello, men drink lawn dark. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I know that's super sexist or whatever, but you know, we'll see. I drink limoncello, so yeah, drink what you want because. But you, but you know what I mean. Like if they were, if they were, if they were, if limoncello is usually advertised towards women, then I'm thinking the the intent was lawn dart is usually advertised to men. But what do I know? Mm. Okay. So now this is this is their. Their pure cane sugar vodka. They vapor infuse the lemon mm -hmm. in it, or whatever that means. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm gonna say this. I was expecting a sour. 
I was expecting th that sour lemony taste. Mm -hmm. And in a way, I'm kind of disappointed with that mm -hmm. because yeah. I wanted that sour lemony taste. You like citrus. You like a lot of citrus. That being said, this doesn't taste bad at all. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's not overly sugary. Yeah, there's it's a not sweetness overly, to it. Yeah, there there's a faint sweetness to it. You get that. You get that ginger like all up in here. Mm -hmm. They vapor infused lemon peel mm -hmm. into their vodka for this, mm -hmm. which I think is interesting. Um, which lets me know they weren't going for a pure lemon taste. They just wanted a hint of they wanted the essence of lemon mm -hmm. which is fine mm -hmm. for what they got out of it I'd say they succeeded mm -hmm. this and it leaves just enough so that anybody can mix with it yeah when making new drinks yeah I, I see I see why people like this like it's flavor how can i explain this you can make drinks with this and in the in the cocktail it takes a back seat but you know that it's there mm -hmm. like you'll like like it'll sit in the back seat of the car or it'll sit in the back of the room but you didn't forget about it exactly it makes its presence known I also see this as an as a, um, ingredient in a cocktail that will connect two other ingredients together mm -hmm. that may usually not work together, mm -hmm. but if you add this in there as that, as that center, centerpiece or whatever. Mm -hmm. I see why they say it's, so, best served chilled and shaken. We should have shook this. <laughs> and chilled it, but whatever. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, slightly sweet, unbearably refreshing spirit. That is accurate to this. That is accurate to what we're tasting. Um, alcohol content. 37.5% alcohol by volume, 75 proof. That's why it's called Lawn Dart, because I, I think they say it here. They say they say it can be dangerous or something like that. Yeah. Lawn Dart is a drink designed for two or more players. So at least we got that part right. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you can't drink this alone. I like it. Um it sucks that we're tasting this and it's fall. Well it doesn't suck. You can drink anything whenever you want. Exactly. But I but, kinda wish we had to discovered this. I'll, I'll let you continue. I, I was gonna say, if you're a classy bitch, you drink during. <laughs> <laughs> you, you drink within the season. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish we had drank this within within the summer season. Like, I wish we had put some ice over it, squeeze a lemon or lime mm -hmm. over it. Mm -hmm. Maybe, hell, I'm thinking, dump this in some lemonade. Yeah, but that seems too obvious. Or cranberry juice. Why do cranberry juice come to mind when I think of it? I don't know. What do you have any cocktail ideas? Not yet, but it could be real easy to come up with something. Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna add citrus. Just get ready. Remember in an uh, early video where we were talking about how um just because summer is over doesn't mean we may not squeeze out a summer drink or two mm -hmm. yeah, and you making me start early because I think that's what I think that's where I'm going to go with whatever it is that I come up with mm -hmm. I bet this sat in that liquor store all the way up until 2012 mm -hmm. for years no one buying it and it's limited edition so here's my thing though, why would no one buy it? Um, maybe just in that part of town, it wasn't selling. 
clearly it sold well. We can't find this anywhere else. We didn't know this existed. We found this, the first time we've ever seen this was today. Mm -hmm. Um, So, it clearly sold well. I'm thinking just in that, you know, this was outside of Atlanta. A lot of people might consider McDonough Atlanta-ish. But but, on your way to the the Atlanta Motor Speedway, which ironically is not even in Atlanta, but whatever. I mean, can you fit a racetrack (laughs) into the city? I'm just saying. And I'm not talking about 285. (laughs) Um, But yeah, um, I'm just thinking people in McDonough didn't want to drink it. I'm thinking people in McDonough didn't know what they had. Did that too? But what happened? I'll put it like this. Fourth Ward Distillery. Bring this back. Yes. And maybe spread beyond the borders of Georgia. I would say so too if they haven't tried already. But yeah, if if you're not bringing it back, or if you haven't thought about it, we're saying bring it back. We like it. Mm-hmm. Um, like it so much that, as per usual with this show, next episode we're gonna create a brand new cocktail surrounding it. We did see that uh, their um their website. For Lawn Dart. They had cocktail recipes. They even had uh if you if you go on Twitter and or Instagram or whatever, you take a picture of this and you put the hashtag up, they'll feature your picture with this on their website. So maybe a clip of this episode will be on their website. I don't know if they even paying attention to it anymore. I hope they're still paying attention to, to Lawn Dart. I hope they have plans to bring it back. Maybe they've been bringing it back every year since 2017 and we just haven't noticed it. But that is possible. Like I said, this is the first time we've ever seen it in a liquor store. and We peruse the liquor stores a lot. Well, that was the first time we ever had ever been to that liquor store. To That's be true. Fair. I That's mean, I found a couple of things that I don't even see in our regular liquor store. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking I need to go back there and pick some of that stuff up. Mm-hmm. But, score? Oh. Uh, score. Seven and a half. I did up. want a little bit more sweet with it, and I did want, to, and like you, I did want a little bit more uh, that literacy tart. Yeah, but for what for what they promised us and what they and how they described it, I thought it was pretty good. Like I said, this is this is definitely a liqueur for mixing drinks. Specifically summer drinks. Exactly. Specifically summer drinks. It's definitely a liqueur for that. Like they say you can you can drink it chilled over ice alone. I personally wouldn't. I think it I I think I think you can't I think there are some liqueurs you can drink straight up, no mm-hmm. problem. And I think there are some liqueurs that they have to be in a drink. And I think there are some liqueurs that if you don't make a cocktail with it, it has to have at least something in it in addition to just the liqueur to make it good. Exactly. And I think this fits those latter two things. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it a 7.5 as well. Mm-hmm. Pretty much for what you just said, I, while you can drink it straight, mm-hmm. I personally wouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. I think the flavors and the essences of those flavors are there. I was just looking for a little bit. Like I said, I was expecting one thing and I got something different. But what I got different wasn't bad at all. Mm -hmm. But the thing I was expecting, I still kind of sort of wanted it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, 
this this stuff leaves room to you know do more with mm-hmm. and honestly i think that's the initial purpose of this particular product is to do more and look all for war they they've been in the game since like 20 20- 14. Yeah, I would say they that know what they're doing. I would say that they're one of the forerunners of of building up Atlanta's alcohol culture, mm-hmm. liquor culture, drinking culture, as it were. Mm-hmm. I'd say they're on the forefront of that since 2014, mm-hmm. since they started in 2014, mm-hmm. and like more and more people out of Atlanta are coming forth with their products and we featured a lot of them on this on this on this show and Mm -hmm. we'll feature more (sighs) once again atlanta never disappoints when it comes to their alcohol Mm -hmm. that'll do it for today's episode of drink tales be sure to like and subscribe hit that bell so that you are informed of all content coming to the channel also check us out on instagram and check us out on twitter and until next time Peace.